so I'm at the flea market the other day and this guy next to me had a whole booth full of just junk clothes and furniture and whatnot and he apparently buys abandoned storage lockers he sells all the stuff he finds at his consignment shop kind of like a thrift store secondhand store but whatever doesn't sell after a week or two in his store he'll take it all in a truckload out to the flea market and put it all in one booth and sell it for like a dollar an item by about 2 p.m. because he didn't have a canopy it was really hot he was kind of over it so he put a free sign out in front of his booth and left just left everything that hadn't sold and it was free for the taking it happens a lot at the flea market there was a ton of stuff left and I started digging through there and I found some other stuff I found some actually some pretty cool things but I saw this hydrogen peroxide bottle from really old uh it doesn't really have a date on it but it's probably from the 40s or 50s maybe four ounce hydrogen peroxide and i saw the bottle and i instantly knew what it was i knew it was old cork in the top clearly it's old and i knew that it was worth something on ebay these usually go for about 20 sometimes 30 bucks especially with the label still on it but as soon as i picked it up i realized holy crap it's got to weigh two three maybe even five pounds and i thought to myself man what could possibly be in this thing because it's only full to about right here and as soon as i turned it sideways i noticed this kind of like metally sheen to the liquid inside and there's pieces of cork not floating in the top of it but literally on the surface and i instantly knew what it was this is just about two ounces of liquid mercury and i'm not real sure if it's ethyl methyl mercury the very dangerous poisonous kind or if it's just regular mercury it's obviously got some filth on the top from oxidization but this stuff's going for like 50 bucks an ounce and then you add in the, the fact that it's two ounces and the bottle being worth 20 30 bucks this is over a hundred dollars that he just left in his flea market booth so anybody out there that has any ideas of what i should do with this make a video with it i kind of don't want to open it because i don't want to destroy the, the original cork i'm sure it's probably not the original but i don't want to destroy the cork and then obviously at room temperature this stuff gases off some highly highly toxic fumes and again i don't know if this is organic mercury or ethyl mercury or methyl mercury or whatever the differences are but so i definitely don't want to stick my hands in it but i've never um i've never had mercury at my disposal so i'm really just at a loss as to what to do with it so if there's any guys that do sciencey stuff and are in the Colorado area, message me or uh, comment below if you have any ideas what I should do with it, maybe. You know, I'm just completely like, I don't even know what to do with it. Gotta be something cool I can do, but uh, yeah, let me know.